This is another question about nuclear stability. Explain which isotope is more likely to be non-radioactive or indefinitely stable, gold-197 or lead-260. This is another example about nuclear stability, but this one we're talking about the neutron to proton ratio. So a quick check on these two isotopes would show me that the gold has 79 protons and 118 neutrons and that the lead 259 has 82 protons and 177 neutrons. So what we see is an odd number of protons and an even number of neutrons or an even number of protons and an odd number of neutrons. Both have one odd and one even number. Neither would be favored over the other because of the odd and even numbers. They both have one odd. If we look at the ratios though, here the ratio is about 120 to 80, just eyeballing it. It's about 1.5 to 1. And it's not the biggest element in the periodic table, but it's getting there. Also, um, so I know that the 1.5 to 1 ratio is about right, but I could also check that the mass number is close to the atomic mass, and it's pretty close. So that indicates that that ratio is pretty good. But when I look at lead, what's the atomic number for lead from the periodic table? The atomic number for lead is 207.2. This is way beyond the 207. The mass, the neutron, uh, neutron to proton ratio here is much bigger than 1.5 or 1.6 to 1. It's about 2.2 to 1. So here we see a 1.5 to 1 neutron to proton ratio. And here it's about 2.2 to 1 neutrons to protons, way too big. For the smallest elements in the periodic table, the ratio should be about 1 to 1. After about element 20, it starts to increase gradually, and for the largest elements of the periodic table, it gets up to the 1.5 to 1.6 to 1 ratio. But it never gets this high. So, gold, 197. is more likely to be non-radioactive due to a 1.5 to 1 neutron to proton ratio. The ratio in lead 259 is 2.2 to 1, too big. So this one is all about the neutron to proton ratio.